Okay, are we live? Ah, uh, it seems we are. Grand. Hang everybody, just adjusting my oil levels since it looks like I'm a bit in the red there with my voice. Anyway, uh, people let me know in the chat if y'all are here and if <laughs> the chat box is working because that's been a bit spotty the last few days as I understand it. Um, uh, yeah. Alright, here we back. <clears throat> Hi everybody, I'm Tracy, she, her, of Girlfriend Quest. And uh, we are once again playing uh, The Great Ace Attorney, Adventures of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. Um, and uh, the also known as uh, Dai Gekuten Saiban 1, or Dai Gekuten Saiban, I mean, it's like it's sequel numbering, no one called it Spiral 1 when it was first out, but you know. Anyway, Dai Gekuten Saiban, chronologically the earliest one, this is Ace Attorney Chronological, arrogant because we're doing them all chronologically. Although at this point in the series, um, well, this, uh, this, in this point in the game, Episode 2 does fall on directly from Episode 1. So for this chronological playthrough, we are having a linear progression for this one. <laughs> so far. It'll get wacky later, don't worry. Oh hey, Anion! What's up? How am I standing there? Is my, is my audio cracking a bit much? Uh, it looks a bit... I don't know, my, my monitor says it's in the red, so I'm just like, hmm. Okay. Let's see. How's... Alright, so, when last we left our heroes, um, we just finished case one. Uh, you can find that on our... Ah, dang, it seems that... So, uh, uh, sorry, I just got a DM saying that some of our, uh, the comments aren't working for some people. <laughs> Still, ah. It's, it's blame, blame Twitch, I can't really fix that. I, 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 I tried all day the other day, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> Um, just gotta wait until it's fixed on their end. But, uh, anyway. Um, in any case, last time we played through episode one, the, uh, the adventure of the Great Departure. Where we got accused of murder as a mere student and then had to defend ourselves because no one wanted to, um, defend us on the charge of being murdered. Um, except for our friend and a whole convoluted thing happened when we were defending ourselves. Um, um... And our, uh, our friend, best friend, um, Asogi, is instead, uh, instead helped us out um, as our second command. And now Rohoro was able to do his very first trial as a mere student. He wasn't even a law student and proved himself innocent of murder in the Supreme Court. And I'm sure that's the very last time anyone would be falsely accused of murder in this series. Anyway, uh, Today is episode two, the beginning of episode two, the adventure of the unbreakable speckled band. Um, shout out, this is a uh, fan translation by Scarlet Study. Oh hey, there we go. Okay, apparently um, one way around the blocked comments is to just use incognito mode on your browser. Pro tip for everybody. <laughs> mm. Being a bit obscure there, Twitter, but I'm sure it's unintentional. Anyway, yeah, so uh, episode two is a bit of an oddball case um, in the series. I consider it fairly unique in many ways, um, but we'll get to that. I think you'll see some things immediately. <laughs> yeah, chat is now still. Don't let Twitch see you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, fight the system and, and go and could need to calm it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, episode two. Uh, start from the beginning of this chapter. Oh. Semai hea no katasumi. Fukai yami no nakade. ホームズと私は息を潜めて待っていた。やがて通気口から収集と低くうなるような音が聞こえてきた。その瞬間、突然ホームズが飛び出して闇の一点をステッキで鋭く打ち据えた。見たか、ワトソン。ホームズの張り
被害者は死の間際に言い残したマダラの紐という謎の言葉その恐ろしい正体こそがこいつだったのだよワトソンそこには巨大な毒蛇が牙を剥き威嚇するようにトグロを巻いていたそれは世にも恐ろしいマダラの紐だった So, sorry for staying quiet there. I wasn't quite sure if I should like read out the, the, the subtitles, which went by a li little bit faster how long they were. <laughs> so I kind of missed some of them anyway. But um, yeah, we have a little interludes like that every now and then with uh, some of the original Sherlock Holmes stories just kind of being quoted more or less. Oh, how weird. Now then, why don't we crack this case wide open? I shall unveil the truth behind this mysterious murder. Pardon me. Now you see, this door has latched up, was latched up from the inside. There's no sign the latch was ever tampered with. In short, this is a true locked room mystery. It appears the victim left a message with his dying breath. We can safely assume that he wrote it with this spilled ink. Russian letters. I take this to mean the victim himself was Russian then. His penmanship is impeccable, clearly he's determined to name the culprit. My, what strange symbols these are! <laughs> the handwriting this message is an entirely different beast. It was likely written by someone of a different <laughs> or a different language, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> this seal was applied just before the murder, by the victim himself, no less. Oh, would you look at that? Who do you think you are, barging in like this? He's right, we ought to preserve the scene and wait for the maritime police to arrive. Shh, that won't be necessary. For we shall meet the killer in a mere five seconds. What? Don't be stupid. This is not a normal crime scene. It's a scene of a locked room murder. Oh, they're going to an accident. Now we should be quick to see on this locked room. A mystery, a serious locked room. Could it be that the killer is inside? Just who in the world are you? Why, well, I am the world famous detective. Pride and joy of the British Empire. The Sherlock Holmes, haven't you heard? Head is pounding. What's going on? The room seems strangely noisy. <gasps> it was my audio balance doing of like fiddle around to fit a bit at the start here. Oh, oops. Okay. Huh? I can't move. Oh! Whoa! What is this? Aren't these handcuffs? <laughs> so you're finally awake. Oh. Even after we violently dragged you out from that wardrobe. Oh, thanks, Erica. <clears throat> you still refuse to wake up. You've got some damn guts. Oh. Guess I got caught after all. That's right. Looks like you understand the situation, you damned criminal. All this time, no one suspected that scum like you could have been hiding in that tiny wardrobe. Ugh, I'm sorry. At this point, it'd be best to just come clean and confess your sins. Unless you're ready to be cast out into the uh, sea through that porthole. All right, I'll tell you everything. Frame rate's lagging a little bit here for some reason. Sorry, everybody. Then please, answer one question for me. Huh? I recognize that voice. Why in heavens did you take his life? Suzato? 
Hold on a second. What do you mean, took his life? Um... Where is he? Where's Asaoki? There's a reason I titled this stream Naruhodo's Awful Day. Oh, here we go. Ha! There's a limit to how much you can feign ignorance. You murdered him with your own hands. You can't fool us. Huh? Kazuma. His corpse was just discovered a short time ago. He was found inside this cabin with the latch shut on the inside. As Asogi's corpse? Oh no. Don't start giving us stupid excuses like I'm still drowsy, so I forgot. Asogi is d dead? That, that can't be. Then, these handcuffs are... I shall ask you once more. Why? Why did you take Kazuma's life? Please, answer me at once! Ugh. Ah! Asogi. Half a month ago. Yeah, really awful day, jeez. Half a month ago. Should we really do something this extreme? <laughs> You're being smuggled into an inter uh, international exchange student's cabin. Quite the thrill, don't you think? When that Russian sailor brought your carry-on luggage here, I swear I was gonna die. He just threw me onto the floor with all the strength he had! Well, not me per se, but the trunk I was stuffed in. <sighs> Nevertheless, it's surprising. I never expected you to fit into that trunk so snugly. <laughs> Not a whole is a contortionist. Okay. You're so much more compact than you appear. Shut up. I seriously thought my spine was gonna snap. There are 50 days until we embark on, uh, shore, eh, embark on the shores of the Great British Empire. It'll be fine. You won't be found as long as you keep yourself in this cabin. Uh, uh, sailors will definitely rip my head off if they find me. That's true. All the Russian sailors here are incredibly brawny. That aside, why are we keeping this a secret from your legal assistant? Legal assistant Makosa, by you mean? That girl's on your side, isn't she? An introduction wouldn't hurt. I highly doubt she'd rip my head off, at, at least. If she were to find out about you, then she would become an accomplice to us. It'd be better for a secret to be kept between the two of us. Just the two of us secretly hanging out in my cabin in this on this long cruise all the way to London, just me and my best friend, wink wink. Oh man. Ruining the ruining a great vacation here with this murder that happened. The better for the secret to keep between the two of us. If you say so. Now then, it's almost time for the next sailor to take his cleaning patrol. It might be cramped, but to hide. Uh, but go hide in there. To as clear to squeezing yourself in that trunk, there should be a breeze. Jeez. If that sailor roundly decides to open that door, it's all over, you know. Come on, it'll be fine. If you're so worried, why not write do not open on that piece of paper over here? <laughs> huh? Cabin boy, the the, the boy in our hotel that I keep in my cabin, the cabin boyfriend, really. 
I'll paste it firmly in that wardrobe there for you. Uh... Since then, it's been half a month. I would never have thought that something like this would happen en route to the Great British Empire. I want to know Asuoki's thought process for this. Like, he's keeping... Like, he's trying to keep Naruhodo hidden in his cabin for like two months on the way to England. <laughs> I'm like, what are you going to do when you get there and disembark? <laughs> I'm like, Naruhodo's not like supposed to be there. He's just going to hang out at your, at your place. He's just going to move in with you. I hope... <laughs> I mean... Heck yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very boyfriend move. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Would you be stuffed in a wardrobe for... <laughs> for just a friend? <laughs> as far as you okay? I don't know. But it does seem like a kind of wild thing that a couple of student BS would do. <laughs> anyway, in any case, we'll drop you off at the next port. Until then, don't you dare try anything funny. Damned murderer. Murderer, please, hold on a second. Didn't I tell you already? Confess your crime. That's not what I was referring to. It's true I was smuggled onto the ship, but... I could never kill someone. You're the only possible culprit. Just give up and accept your punishment. Um, Suzuto! Please, hear me out. Let me tell you what happened. Very well. There is something I need to ask you about as well. Suzuto's eyes are burning so fiercely. I get the feeling that I won't be waking up from this nightmare. Anyway, I should listen to what she has to say. So it's really true? He was murdered? Oh. We're getting some lag. Gonna do a save. Don't like how much lag there is in like the very start of this case already. So this might be not this might not be a particularly long stream if it proves to be like crashy. Um We'll see how it goes though. The recording software was good last time. We got a good three hours a good three hours out of it and only like one major crash, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Temperamental is the streaming of the 3DS. Yeah. And his handcuffs are because I've been accused. Accused on suspicion of murdering Asaogi. When Kazuma was first discovered, this room was completely locked from the inside. Locked from the inside? It would have been impossible to enter the cabin. The door was latched from the inside. In other words, even if the culprit could have gained entry, they could not have escaped. What? The followers of the killer was inside the cabin. It's the only conclusion that makes sense. Would you like to raise any objections? How could this be? So how enough did he die? You just committed a crime this morning, and yet you tend to feign innocence. Please tell me, I'm begging you. The cause of death is not yet clear. So I don't know exactly how he died. The ship's doctor is investigating, but he hasn't adequately trained to perform autopsies. Specific details may have to wait until you reach the next port. That means the body has no obviously fatal injuries, right? Yes, that's correct. What exactly happened here? I was asked to his life taken from him. I am sure that you know the answer to that. Huh? After all, you were here the entire time. You're right, of course, but... He would always be up before dawn, ready to greet the morning of his daily training. And I would always be waiting for him outside his cabin. However, this, this usual routine didn't happen today. He never came out of his room. So by that time, Asuhugi was all ready. 
I tried knocking the door, but there was no response. I was worried, so I decided to call for a sailor's help. The door's bolt was no match for the strength of several grown men. It broke open. And when we rushed into the cabin, we found Kazuma lying on the floor. His body must have been lying where the outline of tape is now. I was in the cabin, but still oblivious to everything that happened. So I must have been asleep inside the wardrobe the whole time. Allow me to make my stance very clear. I don't believe that sounds plausible. You think I want to believe that's what happened? Alright, I've told you everything I know. Now, it's your turn to speak. Okay, I understand. Ugh, the back of my head is starting to throb again. To start with, why are you even on board this steamship in the first place? I'm certain I heard something about a stowaway earlier. Yes, well, that sounds about right. It's been half a month since we left Japan. I've been hiding in this cabin the entire time? I... I wasn't aware. So you sneak behind Kazuma's back and hid yourself away inside his cabin? No, no! It'd be impossible to pull off something like that! Yes, I suppose you're right. <laughs> ah, Soki was actually the one who asked me to come along. He wanted to travel to the Great British Empire. He wanted us to travel to the Great British Empire together. Kazuma asked you to do that? Can I ask what his reason was? That's something even I'm not sure of. Even you aren't sure? Hey Asuogi, tell me why already? Why well, go this far just to take me along to the Great British Empire? I've been thinking about it for a while now, ever since the end of that trial. I know you heard me when I said to you then, you're meant to be an attorney. Yeah, I remember, but you weren't really being serious, were you? <laughs> You've got the talent. I guarantee it. Well, I don't plan on becoming attorney. What do you think I'm... Yeah, I'd be any good at it or not? Well, that's something to decide for yourself. London is in the vanguard. The modern world is a bustling metropolis of culture. Eh. <laughs> There's no harm in seeing that world for yourself, is there? Of course not, that goes without saying. Truth be told, I also have a selfish reason for going through with this. If you were to become an attorney, then someday... Someday? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Huh? There was a certain subject that Kazuma often spoke about to me. I want to change Japan's judici judicial system, he would say. Perhaps he wanted to carry out that mission with you at his side. Yeah, that might be possible. I'm very curious of what his true motivations were. While we were talking about that, his eyes... They seemed dark in a way I'd never seen them before. Um, I'm really sorry we didn't tell you about the story situation. Well, this is Kazuma we're talking about. I'm sure he didn't want me to have anything to do with it, instead of being an accessory to crime. You're absolutely right. Just what we both expect from Asuogi. If you really aren't the culprit, then allow me to ask you a question. What happened in this cabin last night? Um, well, I don't really remember. Mm. Last night, Asaoki brought his meal to the cabin as usual. And after that, I climbed into that wardrobe for the night as usual. 
And then I... I assume you fell asleep. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that while someone murdered Kazuma, you, sp uh, you were sent to sleep? Yes, that's how I remember it. Look, I know how suspicious it sounds, but I swear it's the truth. When I finally did wake up, I found myself in handcuffs. And on top of that, for some odd reason, my head has been throbbing. Huh? Hmm. Um, is something the matter? Ah, uh, no. Everything's fine. Anyway, you have to believe me. I'm not the real culprit. Trust me, it's not as if I don't want to believe you. But I can't think of any way this crime could have been committed. Uh. Why, Asogi? Why did you have to die like this? Ugh, I have to do something. Do not move a muscle. And do not move a muscle! As the culprits, you are forbidden to leave the scene of the, your crime. I'm not going to accept that. Asogi was murdered and I wasn't able to do a thing to help him. Do you honestly think that I can just sit here and do nothing? And just what exactly do you intend to do? I'll investigate his death from start to finish as thoroughly as I can. I'll investigate who killed him. I'll investigate how and why they killed him. So please, excuse me. So... Oof. What... What in the world? That was the Suzato Toss. Suzato Toss? I don't think I've heard of this move. In that case, prove it to me. Prove what? If you are truly innocent, then show me your evidence. But how can I do that? Have you already forgotten? Not long ago, you were acting as your own defense on trial. Oh, so that's it. I'll need to present some decisive evidence. Oh, we have a court record. Oh, I see. I need to get Susato on my side. <laughs> are you going to stand up now, or are you just going to be upside down talking to her the whole time? Well, this do not this do not open seal uh, was slapped in the wardrobe door by Asogi. So I don't know if you can be referring to the Russian sailors. Uh, that's a, that's a no. But also, it was over the latch of the door. So, like, how would I apply it from the inside? When you discovered me earlier, did you find this stuff in that wardrobe over there by any chance? Why, yes, I do recall something like that. You see, whenever I went to sleep, Asogi would always paste this on for me. It was meant to keep the sailors from opening the wardrobe. And of course, last night was no different. Oh! Now that you mention it, just before we found you, we pulled off that very seal that you speak of. If I was a criminal, then in order to enact my crime, I would have torn off the seal as I exited the wardrobe. Indeed, there would be no other way. In other words, it would be impossible for me to be Asoki's killer! There, I've proved I am innocent. Boom, bam. Easily done, I'd say. Hang on, I'm getting... Sorry if you're looking at me and stuff. Okay. Right. Even when you're down on your back. I can see why Kazuma fought so highly of you. Hey, I'll have you know that being down on my back convinced Kazuma a lot of... <coughs> Suzuto. If it's alright with you, would you kindly help me up then? Very well. In light of this new information, I will allow you to investigate the scene as you wish. Ah, thank you very much. I better clear my name then. No. What? 
Not yet. It's still possible that you use some sort of strange sorcery to attach that seal. So, so what kind of person do you think I am? You use your magic sealing techniques to seal the door from the inside. I know it. Listen, this is an Ace Attorney game. Do you think you're going to prove your innocence just with a little bit of proof that you can commit a crime? No, fucker. You're going to find that killer before I take those handcuffs off. <laughs> First off, let's thoroughly investigate the scene. I will accompany you. Got it. Let's do this, Suzuto. I forgot when that, that, that comment flashed up earlier. Who's pulling a Rukia? I guess Suzuto is a little bit Rukia-esque. Ah, oh, is it freezing? Oh, my image is frozen. Oh, no. Come on, now. Safety save. Ah, that's so good. Yeah. Alright, well, we got a half hour in before uh, the video feed froze. Give me one second, everybody. Just gonna reset that. Boop, boop, boop. boop. Anyway, um, while I'm resetting the, uh, the video feed up, um, how are y'all doing today? Um, so this is indeed Naruhodo's awful day. Like, he's been... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Rikia did live in Ichigo's closet. I forgot about that. <laughs> that is true. Um... Bleach is a weird series. Uh, <laughs> um, I will not rant about Bleach on a on a stream that is not about Bleach. I, I will resist this unholy temptation. <laughs> um, but yeah, this case so far, it's just Naruhodo's shitty day. He's been crammed in a wardrobe um, uh, for like fucking two weeks. Um, <laughs> and the only good thing about it was being near his boyfriend. Or the character that I'm interpreting his boyfriend. Of course not the canonical boyfriend, or else he'd be grilling this game for burning its gates, you understand. Ah, come on, BDS, work with me here. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, there are... Uh, and worst of all, we've been accused of it. And some smarmy, smarmy fuck called Sherlock Holmes just showed up and they put handcuffs on us. What an asshole. Can't wait to show that guy how innocent we are. <gasps> I want to know by what sorcery um, Sisuto thinks we just, like, magically put the sign back on after hiding in the wardrobe. Because, I mean, I got it. It's, it's got to be something else. String. Yeah, just a lot of strings. A complicated string mechanism specifically for this pseudo locked room mystery instead of trying to hide somewhere that wasn't a closet that was only sealed off and protected by a piece of paper. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Come on, recording software. I'll be your friend if you just don't crash. Um, Alexis is more of a singer than I am. Uh, Alexis is apparently playing some game of For the Honor, which I, I by like For the Honor of Grayskull Logic, I'm going to assume is a Shira game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned to be. So, anyway, um, a lot of cool RPGs going on uh, that she's checking out. Um, and I've just been streaming a bit more while she's been doing that. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Hang on, let's see if we can get the video feed booted back up here. We've got audio. we got video. Okay, there we go. The video seems, the stream's starting to go. There we go. Hey. Um, so, as you see here, the continue screen now has the current, um, situation on it instead of just the courtroom now it's uh this murder scene interestingly all right picking up where we left off before uh shit crashed hmm 
Sorry, please do not misunderstand my intentions. As I said, my doubts are not yet entirely resolved. What? To make sure that you do nothing to vandalize the crime scene, I will be observing you closely. Do not dare use any strange sorcery to get rid of evidence you f might find. Uh, Alright. All sorcery aside, my first objective is to begin examining this cabin. Asogi. I hope you're watching. I will avenge you! Aw, oh, come on, don't immediately freeze. It's immediately frozen, we just got the video feeds going again. Oh, I mean, <laughs> on the topic of home showing up high as balls, I mean, that's not too far off. I mean, <gasps> I mean, he's, there's never a point in this game where he's implied to be anything but stone cold sober. This isn't like a, a Sherlock Holmes game that goes into the, the gritty angle of his the, of his drug use or something. Um, but he is always a, a little bit, a little bit odd. Ah, it's just totally frozen now, though. That's disappointing. <sighs> okay, we're gonna take another try or two getting this uh, <laughs> getting this going. Uh, thank you for your patience, everybody. Oh, what? Just as I go to save it for for, <laughs> does I make my save to save if the video feed comes back on? Okay, make up your mind if you're gonna crash or not, 3ds. All right, cool. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. We're, go we're good for a bit longer. Let's go. Alright, we've, I believe, talked all the, all these top topics, so let's try examining the room. That is Kazuma's katana. He always had it attached to his hip. The katana is the heart of the Japanese. That was one of Asaoki's favourite sayings. I heard that he persuaded the government to allow him to bring his katana into Britain. Just goes to show you how important was him to keep it by his side. That's Ogi, the spirit of a proud warrior. I have to ensure that it lives on. Ah, come to think of it. What is it, Sisu? So? Whenever I examine things, I feel as though my vision begins to narrow. Uh oh, that can't be a good sign. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but... You can use it... <laughs> the left and right buttons in the bottom screen to look around. Let's try to miss a single corner during your investigation. I thought she was about to say she's like farsighted or something. But no, it's just a tutorial on how to look around. Is that what I've been doing? Yeah! I think my vision just narrowed a bit. What's this? It looks like a piece of broken glass. Some kind of, uh, some small glass object seems to have been broken in half. Okay, first time I saw, I played this game, I thought that was a blood stain. <laughs> um, but it's, in fact, to the best of my outside knowledge, by context clues, not red and not a blood stain. <laughs> some glass object seems to have been broken in half. It's quite a beautiful colour, don't you think? Was it from a Nitsuki? Like those buttons that men used to hang from their kimonos? I think you're right. Does this belong to Asuki? Did I hang some lovely piece of art without our knowledge? Hmm, aside from that, there are also some dark brownish red marks on the floor here. Oh, brownish red? Brownish? I'm so insulted. I'm fucking red green colour blind. Brownish red? Fuck you. <laughs> No wonder I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Dark, brownish red. This is an accurate description, but one problem remains. I don't see anything with the type of colour in it could have made these marks. Hmm. There was some leftovers from late last night's dinner, the roast chicken. Yes, it was quite delicious. Incidentally, 
Did you happen to eat your meal on the floor? I'm not a pet dog, you know. I ate my chicken at the dining table like an actual human. Odd though, when did that chicken bone fall on the floor? Oh, but didn't Kazuma hate chicken? I seem to remember as much. Hmm. He despised it. In fact, he vehemently refused to even touch it last night. So being the hungry sore way, I ate out of every last bite of it. Oh, so that means... Kazuma had likely been famished during his final night on Earth, just before he perished. How immensely pitiful. I suddenly have a stomachache. It's... Stab after stab of sheer raw guilt. Just, yeah. Just go on. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. That's quite a large trunk. It's more like a big box of memories. Uh, it's more like a big box of memories for me now. Memories? I don't quite follow. To tell the truth, we use that trunk to transport me aboard during embarkment. Ah, that explains this warning label. Do not turn upside down. Yeah, I should have known better than to think that Sailor would be able to read that. And so I've slipped over and thrown, tossed and flipped over again so many times. Smuggling a person isn't an easy thing to do, is it? And yet it's still a thousand times better than going up against a scissors of toss. Did Asuhogi write that? Judging by that colour, I think this message was written using ink. When he collapsed, he must have jolted to death, causing the bottle of ink to fall. Then, he dipped his finger in the spelled ink and wrote out his last message. It must have been a terrible way to die. Oh, how heart-wrenching! Heart was Asuhogi trying to leave as a clue as he took his last breaths? I... I'm so sorry, Asuhi. I just can't read this message. That's probably because these symbols are not written in Japanese. What in the world? What language are they then? I'm afraid that I have no clue myself. I've never seen letters like these before. Where are they from? What do they mean? I think like it's Russian and we've been on board a Russian ship for like two weeks and I know Naruhodo's not been inside this room but I feel like Suzuho should recognize him somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Kaz must have spent last night reading and writing at this very desk. His London travel journal. Left incomplete before he could even make it there. Hmm, apparently the last sentence in the final page was left unfinished. This mini incident occurred while I was in the middle of writing a sentry? That's spooky. Let's read it. It might contain a clue. To You mustn't do that. Ugh. Even if the owner is lost, you can't just read someone else's journal. It's improper. But for all we know, there might be something important written inside. Alright, fine. I won't read it. Now reading your boyfriend's journal. Kazuma. It's not fair to say I want to go prime for Asuma's per uh, Asuma's personal belongings. But I also know that we need to find as many clues as possible for his sake. Those books have fallen over. Not a single one is left standing. Is that statuette of some guardian god of the sea? It's fallen on its side. Looks like everything on this shelf toppled over like a deck of cards. Do you think, by any chance, the Kazuma not. Oh. Don't freeze. <gasps> that Kazuma not told these over, uh, all these things over when he was practicing his swordsmanship? No way. I don't think he would do that. Well then. Did you lose your temper and knock everything down after you woke up? I wouldn't have left the wardrobe just to do something like that, you know. Something happened to knock over all these items loose. But is it related to this case? Anyway, let me put things as back as they were. This is going to bother me otherwise.
I know what this is. It's an apparatus known as a call bell. It's an apparatus? Indeed, I've seen them in books about the culture of the Great British Empire. They're used in other countries. You pull the rope to ring the bell, then a servant appears. When you say like that, it's just like sorcery. Let's try ringing it. Yes, let's do it. A part of our research on Western culture, of course. I wonder if nobody came because we're Japanese. No, no, don't be silly. I'm sure everyone just has their hands full right now. <laughs> it's been half a month since we left Japan. And all this time you've been crammed into that wardrobe. Um, can you refrain from saying the word crammed? Ah, please pardon me. Let's say you enjoyed the village in the comfort of your own personal hiding place. Well, I had to stay inside since we had no idea when sailors went into the cabin. That's the reason I was crammed inside the wardrobe for most of the trip. Of course, I was stuck in there all for the night as well. So because of that, you didn't wake up during the murder. It hurts so much to think about it. <laughs> he was extremely stoked while I thought I was being thrown. <laughs> She's in charge. I'm not fucking with her. Uh, anything else? We got a check. We got a vent up here. I believe that's an air duct. It's a sort of hole that keeps the air in the cabin circulating instead of getting stale. Hmm. But this seems pretty mysterious. Serious in what way? This air duct. It all basically leads through the wall and into the cabin next door. Yes, you appear to be right. But if you wanted fresh air, wouldn't it be better to have the air duct connect to the outside? Hmm. Yes, that makes sense. Maybe it's to avoid rain. Uh, having rain to. Bleh. Having rain blown into the ship if a raging storm approaches. Ah, oh, maybe that's it. Hmm. Huh? Hello? Who is that man? He wasn't there a moment ago. He just materialized. From the looks of it, he cl he's clearly a European. <laughs> yes, this traditional European dress of whatever the fuck this guy's wearing. <laughs> ah, over there. Yeah, you notice some two or two? That's a special, I mean, that tall gentleman. Huh. Now this is a prize. Naruhodo, could it be that... You don't know who this gentleman is? Then no. I'm not acquainted with any foreign gentleman. <laughs> that sounds like a denial of a relationship. I'm not acquainted with any foreign gentleman. <laughs> Let me tell you. Or alternatively, just a statement of how you're very nationalistic, I guess. It gives a very strange aura. It's clearly different from all the other sailors. I mean, in this case, Naruto was just very sheltered. He's not been inside the country before. I can't tell if he's inspecting Asoki's desk or just playing with it. Oh, come then! Let's hear what he has to say! Am I imagining it, or does Susuzo's eye just light up? Huh? Oh, by the way, you may have realized this, but... When you touch a person with a cursor, you can talk with them! <laughs> I'm sorry, every time Suzuto interjects with um, a little bit of tutorial flair, I've got to, I just have to giggle a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to that suspicious, I mean, that tall gentleman over there. <gasps> right. Oh. <laughs> uh. Do not freeze. We're trying to examine this tall gentleman. Safety save. Okay. Um, excuse me? Excuse me, can you spare a moment of your time? Quiet! In the middle of something big. Maybe we should leave him be. I have a feeling that this could turn into trouble fast. 
I suppose so, if that's what you think is best. Greetings! So sorry to have kept you waiting. Ah! Excuse me? Can I ask what you were doing with Asogi's desk right now? Oh. Hmm. I see. So that's what's going on. Huh? What exactly do you mean? I feel like I'm being heavily scrutinized. It appears I've uncovered the whole truth of the matter. My flawless reasoning whispers the truth of all things. You've. Yes. That's it. You've returned here from Afghanistan, and quite recently at that. What? What? <laughs> and on your way to a foreign country, you found yourself facing a predicament. Uh, well, he's not wrong about that. How in the world? How in the world did you come to know all of that? Is that what you mean to ask? Please, this is but rudimentary reasoning. Nothing for me to bother explaining. Is there, is there perhaps some anything else you might know? Oh yes, but of course, countless things, countless. Take, for example, your true identity is as a Russian refugee, a most cruel and heartless revolutionary. Huh? You've killed 16 people so far, and you plan to go to Britain to blow up the Crystal Tower! Hmm? However, in order to hide your identity, you murdered that man with a headband! Well, I suppose that just about sums it up. Come now, there's no need to hide your crimes, you know it to be futile! <gasps> um... This is sort of a long shot. But were you talking about me just now? Of course I was talking about you. Tell me, do you see any other Russians capable of assassinating 16 people? I'm definitely not capable of doing that either. <gasps> I was right all along. The one who stole Kazuma's life was you, Naruhodo. Um... And on top of that, you're a revolutionary as well? How insolent! How shameless! H hey now, um... Like I said- oh! <laughs> The time is at hand. Now, what is your defence against these claims? Uh, I give up. <laughs> oh, um, my apologies. I did not mean to disgrace you. No matter how you slice it, there's no way I could be a Russian revolutionary. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. And as for you... How could you carelessly fire off so many irresponsible, far-fetched theories? And yet, and yet, did I not speak the truth? On your way to a foreign country, you found yourself facing a predicament. Well, that much is true, yes. See? See? How's that? What do you make of that? If you really want to know what I make of that, It's a fact that this ship is headed to Britain, and that I am cuffed here at the crime scene. That's not really a theory. It goes without saying, as the phrase goes. <laughs> yeah, here's this asshole. <laughs> the big- <laughs> he's such an asshole. <laughs> I can only laugh at this. And so it does! That is precisely the principle of reasoning! Try to say it goes without saying aloud. This is unexpectedly and most mysteriously effective. Um, right. So then. Who exactly are you? Ooh. 
Ah, yes, I have delayed my introduction long enough. I am a man on a rented globe, the world's greatest and most famous detective. Yes, for I am the famous Sherlock Holmes. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh. I like his theme song, at least it's very energetic. Hmm. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, I knew it! You're the show you're the real Holmes in the flesh! But of course, I am the Sherlock Holmes in the flesh! <laughs> Sisato, does he happen to know this man? Of course I do. Everyone in the world knows who the great detective is. All of a sudden I feel like I've been cut off from the rest of the world. In any case, we should listen to what Mr. Holmes has to say. We'll be to find out the truth to this incident in no time with his help. I've got really bad feeling about this. Um, so you're a great detective and you said your name was... Precisely, a great detective indeed. I am the famous Sherlock Holmes. All right. Oh. <laughs> the game's frozen on Sherlock bragging. <laughs> this is the one truth you must remember. I am the famous Sherlock Holmes. He, he insists that he is the famous Sherlock Holmes so often that when I first played this game, I thought he was like an imposter. Oh, there we go. It unfroze. Good. Safety save anyway. Every time it freezes, we do a safety save. <gasps> well then, the Sherlock Holmes. Ah, no, there's only to see the each time. Mr. Holmes is more than adequate. If you're interested in my escapades as peaks, then I highly recommend you read this. <laughs> the Strand Magazine. This is a popular entertainment publication in Great Britain. Rest assured, Mr. Holmes, I have imported every issue from Great Britain without fail. Hmm, it says the adventure of Sherlock Holmes right here. So basically, you're a character in this book. Yeah, like I thought it would be like, um, Sherlock Holmes' son or something. But actually, I looked it up on the wiki and it turns out he's not that young. In fact, his age is right here. I didn't realize it the first time I played the game, but it's right here. He's 34. He's This man is supposed to be 34. Now, when I first played this game, I assumed he was like some tween teenager 20-something knockoff of the original Sherlock Holmes who'd stolen his identity because he's a very oddball <laughs> character. It doesn't seem to <laughs> quite match up. But no, this is just he's just very Sherlock... He's just very... Bishon Anatomy Boy. He's just very handsome and young looking. <laughs> I mean, there's 34 year olds that are dashing and all that. I just, he acts very um, immature, I guess. It's, it's more than his design, is the way he acts. <laughs> Precisely, you've hit the mark. Don't be freezing now. <gasps> I mean, if it freezes on this image of him being the great detective, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> Uh, we have been streaming for an hour, so it wouldn't be too terrible if we stopped around here, but I want to get a bit more going. Oh. He's so engrossed in his book that he... Oh. Come on, I'm freeze! Boo! We're getting to this asshole. He's got a good rhythm to him. It's not just a rhythm, boo. Alright. Well, it's just the way it is with my software streaming. <laughs> One moment, everybody. Whenever I just like toggle the screen, I'm okay. Now it's now it's deciding to run. As soon as I feel like I'm about to turn the game off, it just goes like, no, 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 I'm still here, I'm still here. He's so engrossed with this book that he actually believes he's the great detective. Yeah. 
<laughs> Even Naruhodo's not buying. It's like, he's a world-famous detective. I don't fucking buy it for a second. This just sucks. <laughs> I can tell by your face you misunderstand. I'm not as self-deluded as I might seem. The truth, in fact, is completely the opposite. Opposite? For you, you see, this is a series of stories about my adventures, as written by my biographer. Right, your biographer. Indeed, presently, Dr. Watson is back in London, looking out her, after her flat. Dr. Watson? Thanks to the popularity of this book, the Doctor has been incredibly busy as of late. As have I! I've returned from Asia where I solved the mysteries around the cursed royal crown! I can't tell if he's just joking or serious, but either way, he sounds terrifying. <laughs> it seems to freeze. <laughs> the, the pattern I'm getting with the, the, the video feeds um, and the, the, free, the frames freezing is it seems to kick in just as Naruto is about to dunk on Sherlock. Okay, there we go. But either way, he sounds terrifying. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, uh, this Sherlock boy here is uh, quite temperament. <laughs> to me, deduction is everything. Simply put, it's the art of pure logic. Eh, stream, I believe in you. Pure logic? <laughs> We're going at one frame every <laughs> few seconds now. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Come on. I want to riff on Sherlock. Ah. Anyway. Yeah. Um. Also agreeing with Ashley's comment. He is one hundred percent asshole. <laughs> I like in every Sherlock adaption. He is a, at least a bit of an asshole. And, you know, when a character is introduced by accusing you of murder, it does temper your feelings a little bit. Okay. Art? A great observer of men does not allow even a single reaction to slip by unnoticed. A slight change in the line or of sight or facial expression, uh, facial muscles. A person's very manner of conduct. Their fingernails, their sleeves, their wrinkles in their clothes. All of this is vital information. I see. A great observer can sympathize all of that and get information to gather in a single instant. And the logic he gleams from his conclusions will allow him to find the one and only truth. Indeed, you saw these very powers at work earlier. He's got some nerve being able to say that while looking at me right in the eye. Yes, an extraordinary observer, formidable logician, and the greatest detective alive! Sorry, I was saying that too humbly. He's a total bragging asshole. I gotta get more into. This is him, and he is me, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> well, we've now met Sherlock Holmes, and we've been streaming for an hour, and uh, things are starting to freeze up and whatnot. Uh, so I think we might have a little save and end it here before we finish getting the, uh, the, the info from this guy. You know, we, he, we, he's introduced himself and, um, the screen has just frozen on him posing cockily like this. So I think that's a note to leave us off on is, uh, Sherlock has landed and he is making Naruhodo's awful day worse by the second, frankly. <laughs> just compoundingly like uh, yeah, the whole 3DS is crashing now, so it's just as well I called it there and uh, did a little save. Uh, well. Alright. Um, thanks for joining me for uh, part one of this case, everybody. This has been uh, Daigyakuten Saiban, episode... Uh, Daigyakuten Saiban, the first one, blah, blah. Episode two, <laughs> rather. Um, because we did episode one last time. Anyway. <laughs> he really is a great big asshole, you know, for someone 
You know, he, he illustrates that just because you're great at solving crimes and you work at the police doesn't make you not an asshole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'll, I'll catch you all later, uh, next time, everybody. Uh, hopefully we can get a bit more stability going with it, but my energy is a bit low anyway. I figured I was going to only stream for about an hour, so... Uh, thanks for joining us as we begin on the trip through Naruhodo's awful day and meeting up with our, our co-star of this game, THE Sherlock Holmes, the man himself, who is, many speculate, a big part of the reason why this game hasn't been uh, translated into English. There's some things people are like, oh, that may be a bit, a, a bit of a drag or heavy material or be a bit complicated to work out how we fit it into our existing setting because we did that weird early 2004 kids thing of um, deciding to uh, <laughs> pretend everything was in America <laughs> and everyone had English names and whatnot. It's like the other Naruto or whatever becomes uh, Phoenix Wright, etc. It's like, I've, more than any of that, some people speculate the reason why this game isn't English is because Sherlock Holmes is here just posing problems for everybody, posing problems for Naruhodo, posing problems for us, the player, to solve, posing problems for the goddamn people making the game to actually port it to other markets where copyright law and uh, what characters are probably the main are uh, different and more complicated. Um, I blame Disney. You know what? The reason this game hasn't come out in English yet is because of Disney. And that could easily be this, the case. You could easily just say that. Um, but I guess, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, that's what the fan argument's usually been. I, I don't think it's a great one either. I think possibly the best one is just, like, Sherlock being here. <laughs> yeah, he's just confounding everybody. Like, more than any of, like, the retcons of anything or who's descended from who or whatever. I've not finished playing these games, so, like... I don't know if there's any more significant ancestor people apart from, like, goddamn the Aoichi slash Pain family in our own right. Um, it might be completely irrelevant. I don't know. But, um, as in, like, Daigai from Saiban 2 hasn't even been fully translated yet. I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know. I don't listen to Wiki because, spoilers, it's a mystery game. Yeah, but I'm rambling and uh, we've finished playing for a little while now, so I'll catch you all next time. Um, you can, um, also, you can back up Alexa isn't here today she's off uh playing a game hope she's having a good time um you can go follow her on patreon if you like she's been doing a great job uh helping us out a whole bunch by putting these videos up on youtube uh our archive you can find uh I, i'm hoping i think i think if you get a few subscribers on youtube we can get ourselves uh a custom youtube url that might help the traffic um currently recommend the link to our youtube channel in the twitch description i believe and I should have the previous three parts, and soon enough, uh, we'll have this part off, and Alexis can try that. Thank you much, Alexis. Uh, back on Patreon.com for us, Alexis Sarah, if you'd please. Uh, she's a trans woman co of color living in Texas, and it's uh, every little bit helps. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'll uh, catch you later, everybody. Um, bye!